Hey there, sunny boy. Where's your folks at, son? You're not out here all by yourself, are you, boy? No, sir. My mother drops me off here to play with my friends. What kind of fucked up shit is that? A boy your age shouldn't be running around the park all alone. There's rapists and perverts on every corner out here. You see that son of a bitch right there? Well, that guy's probably some petter ass fuck who's looking to take a preteen boy behind the tree and make hate to his little innocent asshole. You see, son, you can never tell what kind of weird, kinky shit people are into. A kid your age would get fucked up by that. Probably turn into a date rapist himself. No, sir, I will not abide this lack of parental care. As a standing member of this community, I take it upon myself to sit here with you until your mom comes and picks you up from the cesspool of human filth. Look here, my boy. You sit back and old Uncle Charlie is going to regale you with a tale of his formative years. When he was not much older than the impressionable, soon-to-be-screwed-up boy that you are yourself. It all goes back to when I was a young lad, back when my grandfather had just died. You see, Sonny, sometimes you learn more about a man from his death than his life. I just, I miss him a lot. Hey, guys. Real bummer, huh? Yeah. He just went so suddenly, but it's okay, though. Grandpa Tom, he's in heaven, and he's in a better place. Yeah. Or maybe he's in hell. You know, with the way he treated Grandma. Oh my gosh, Charlie. You're so inappropriate. Why don't you just go say hi to Grandma? And then get the hell out of here. Idiots. Hello, Charles. I am so sorry for your loss. He was a very special man. A real pillar of our community. Thanks, Mr. Hunter. Say, my uh, grandma's husband just died, so I'll see you third period Wednesday. Wednesday? Hey, Grandma. Oh. How are you holding up? Uh, I'm all right, Charlie. How are you handling all this? Honestly, he and I never really got along that well. Well, yeah. What did you expect? You treated him like he was a monster. He was. Nonsense. What did he ever do to you? It's not what he did to me. It's just... You know you could tell me anything. When I was little, I had this nightmare and I came in to sleep with the two of you. When I walked in, Grandpa was, well, he was beating you. Beating me? He never touched me. Grandma, you don't have to lie about this. I saw the way he was beating you with that stick. Oh my God. That's why you hated him all these years. We'll, we'll talk about this another, another time. This is really not the time or place to go into that story. But on a brighter note, I decided to give something to all the grandkids so they have something to remember him by. Grandma, I don't. Nonsense. Don't want now, it just happens that with his passing, we have an extra car. The only thing it might need is new tires, but I know it would make your grandfather very happy to see you driving it. Well, you know, that's a lie. You and your grandfather may not have gotten along, but he loved you dearly. Go take it for a drive. And that's how I got my first car, little kid. Is that the end of the story? What the fuck, little boy? I don't go interrupting you every time you open your damn mouth to talk about... Well, whatever it is little kids talk about. But I really just want my ball. Of course that's not the end of the story. What kind of run-of-the-mill bullshit storyteller do you think I am? Jesus fucking Christ, you got some nerve. Ah, shit fire, kid. I'm sorry. What should I expect from a little rug rat raised by a mother who would just drop her kid off to play on the corner of Sodom and Gomorrah? What's Sodom? Yeah, yeah, that's better, little kid. Now, where was I? I think I'd been driving that rust bucket for about two years, when suddenly...
Mr. Hunter? Got a problem. What now? I've got a flat. I told you about that damn tire. I remember that. Yeah. Where are you? I parked in that uh, weird abandoned parking lot on uh, uh, Bronson. Well, what do you want me to do about it? Can I get a ride? Yeah, fine. Apparently Rodney didn't keep a spare in the trunk. Rodney? What do you mean Rodney? Where, where's the spare? What else will you I will be right there. Uh -huh. I will be right there. Yeah, Don't see you soon. So there I sat, mulling over the fact that my grandparents got dressed up in leather with the people I grew up around and enjoyed beating each other. That was quick. Benefits of a small town. Oh, thanks, Grandma. You called a mechanic. Be just a minute, ma'am. Thanks for getting here so quickly. So what? Grandpa liked rough sex? Did you used to tie him up and choke him or and beat him until Thomas, he's ready? Shut your damn mouth, this in. Sorry, right, Grandma. So, how did you find out about Rodney Redbottom? Well, when the tire busted, I went to look for the spare. And when I opened up the trunk, there was all these and M porn magazines. And there was this huge wooden paddle. I searched the entire house looking for this. God damn it, Tom. I wonder where you had hidden that. You must have been coming back from a play party. Play? Why would he take a paddle to the king and I? What? No. And the king and I is a musical, Charles. It is not a play. A play party? It's when a group of like-minded, consenting adults get together for recreational scolding. Well, the uh, paddle there uh, was in the trunk. Your, your grandfather and I are, were, a bit strange. Hey, so I never really ever wanted to talk about this subject. When I met your Grandpa Tom, he was a caring, sweet, and sensitive man. He hadn't even been around the block very many times. I think he only messed around with one other woman at that point. All he would ever talk about was our escaping our houses and starting our lives together. After dating each other about a year, we decided we should get married. And everything was going great for a while, but the sex was always kind of awkward. It just felt like some integral part was missing. But slowly he started wanting to get more aggressive during sex. Or rather, he wanted me to get more aggressive with him. At first, I wasn't open to it. I, I found it strange, and, and I was worried what other people would think if they found out. But slowly, it all just became very natural. And before you knew it, we were the royalty of the local black sheep party circuit. So, during one of those parties, Olivia spanked your grandfather until his ass was as red as Woody Woodpecker's cock. So she named him Rodney Redbottom, and the name stuck. He was so proud of it, he wore it like a badge of pride. Grandma! What the fuck? Oh, stop it, you little shit. I used to screw, too. So, he bought a plank of wood and made his own paddle. But that wasn't enough for Tom. He always took things an extra step. He seared his damn nickname in the paddle. He would have the entire group come over and take a few lashes at his behind. He could take more than any one of us, and he knew it. Even though we would have the occasional new person join, our numbers slowly fell through the years. That's the pain of getting old, I suppose, surviving your friends. 
there's only a few of us left now, but oh boy, when we can still get together and the men pop the purple pills, the asses still turn a beamy shade of red. All right, Mr. Mechanic, how much do I owe you? See you, little kid? You can never tell what kind of weird, kinky shit people are into. And that's the story of my SNM loving grandpa, who liked my grandma and their friends to beat his ass with a custom wood paddle until he turned redder than the dog's little lipstick cock. So you ended up like this because your grandparents like SM? What the fuck, little kid? No! People like weird shit. I ended up homeless because my father was a piece of shit. My grandfather never even hit my grandma. Well, I mean, he did. But she liked it. Who the hell are you? His name is Uncle Charlie, and he's teaching me all about SM. Oh my fucking god! Who the fuck are you? This man's claiming to be my son's uncle? Screaming he wants to fuck my son? What the fuck, woman? Why the fuck would I want to fuck your son? Huh? And what the fuck are you doing leaving your kid to play in the park full of pederasses? What kind of fucking shitty mother are you? Fucking pervert son of a bitch trying to fuck my son? What the fuck is wrong with you? Next time your little group gets together, feel free to give me a call. 